Hi guys, so we're going to look at a pose called Dolphin Pose and it's an excellent posture that preps you for a lot of arm balances and inversions, say arm balance, pinching my arasana, preps you for headstand, shishasana A, gandhubarodasana. So we're just going to have a look at this and kind of really deconstruct it and break it down. Today with me is the wonderful Kaniko. Before we go anywhere, we're actually going to look at the upper arms because just in this balasana child's pose, bring your hands a little bit wider Kelly, shoulder distance apart. She is mimicking what we're going to do in the shape. So I want you to think what tends to happen are the elbows go out, they splay, and this disengages the shoulder blades on the back. So feel the triceps wrap, and yet the inner shoulders lift up, so there's a lot of space around the neck. And yet at the same time, the upper arms are standing up. And now, as we feel this space around the shoulder blades, we're going to turn it into the shape. So Kaliko's going to come into her hands and knees. Good, hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips, then she's gonna lower her forearms down and bring her elbows under the shoulders. And as she brings the elbows under the shoulders, if you're someone with a tighter chest and tighter shoulders, it actually helps to interlace your fingers. It makes it a little bit more accessible. So she's gonna interlace the fingers. But as you interlace the fingers, make sure that you have a firm grip. So, you know, it's not this, it's not splaying out, but it's not tight and rigid around, around the neck. Think about the top of the wrist as stacking right over the bottom of the wrist. That's important. So again, you've got a nice firm clasp. And then from here, nicely done. Elbow, shoulders in line, abdomen content. She's gonna curl the toes under. And as she curls the toes under, we're gonna keep her bending the knees for a moment. As she bends the knees, she's gonna to start to lift her hips up out of her shoulders. So draw the hips towards the back of the room, Kelly. Yeah. And as she does that, what can happen are the upper arms can get a little bit relaxed. So she's gonna stand her upper arms up, that's the work. And then from here, she's gonna walk the feet in just a little bit more and think about, again, shoulders going right over the elbows there. And as she does this, the front ribs soften and they move towards the thighs, so the upper abdominals stay engaged. For a moment, relax your head, Kelly. There should be no tension around the neck, yeah? So even as she starts to lengthen from her cervical and look forward, again, the space around the neck is very relaxed. Now, let's play with a variation here. From here, Kalika's gonna extend her right leg back, just halfway, and she's gonna think the thigh is parallel to the mat. And I'm gonna have her push into me for feedback. As she pushes into me, watch what happens to her shoulders. Push into me, Kelly. She lifts up out of them. She's gonna draw her left hip in towards the midline just a little bit more, that's the action, very good. Continuing to connect to the lower belly. And now she's gonna lower the right foot down. She's gonna take the left leg up, just halfway, and as she takes the left leg up, she's gonna press it into my thigh and imagine that I'm a wall that she's pressing into. Then as she presses into me with this left foot, good, she lifts up out of the shoulders a little bit more because she engages her legs a little bit more. Right hip in towards the midline, just a little bit more, Kelly, that's nice. It's as if your two buttock bones are trying to have a conversation, so they stay level. And then from here, she's gonna lower the left foot down, good, and then she's gonna walk her feet back a little bit more, and pause, good. And then once again, before we, we dismount, lifting up out of the shoulders, ribs in, outer upper arms firm, shoulder blades on the back, so she is finding an, a heart opener here, but without sitting into it. Nicely done. And then she'll lower the knees towards the mat. And take a child's pose. And give yourself about five breaths here, again, just to, to process and allow the body to, to take in the shape it just did. But I hope that's helpful, so that's a good prep for your headstand to show you how much work you need to find in lifting up out of the posture so you're not sitting in your neck. And also, it's a good indication of if you're ready to move on to Pinchamaya Rasana. That's another video. Hope that was helpful.